Today I have some ideas for letter T. You can have a teddy bear tea party if you'd like to. So gather those stuffies or those teddy bears and get ready. I have a fun science experiment that I'm going to show you. This is using a tea bag. So I just had a regular, just a regular little tea bag and I opened it up and I poured out all the tea. Let me show you. So it was just a tea bag. I took off the string. I opened it up, poured out the tea, and I was left with this tube. Kind of see right down through there. And so now I'm going to make this float. It's the floating tea bag science experiment. Now this is definitely just for grown-ups to do. You don't want to mess with a lighter, but I'm gonna light this and let's watch and see what happens. Whoa, did you see that? It went up, up and away and then it just disappeared. Actually, I can catch it. It's coming back down as just a little piece of ash. <laughs> it's not hot anymore. So that was all that's left of the tea bag. Well, let me tell you what was happening. Heat rises and the tea bag was so light that it rose right along with the heat up to the ceiling and it just kind of burned away. And so there's no fire or anything, it's gone. But that was a fun science experiment for tea as for a tea party. Here's some other ideas for your day. One of the things you can do is I decorated my letter T with a napkin, a fancy napkin that you might use for a tea party. Actually, it's just a paper napkin, but I tore it into little pieces and that's how I decorated my letter T today. You could also just tear regular paper. T is for tear and, and glue those on. We did a fun activity for um, practicing the letter T sounds. I'm going to do that with you right now. Letter T makes the sound t, 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 like a ticking clock. And I said, it's tea time. It's tea time. I need you to tell me what letter T sounds like. So can you do that now? And I want you to hold up your pretend teacup and I'll pour you some tea. Okay. So what does letter T say? T, t, t. Okay. You get some tea. Hold up your cup. Here it comes. Okay, that's for you. Okay, can you do it again? What does letter T say? Letter T says, t, t, t. hold your teacup up. There's some more tea for you. One more time. What does letter T say? T, t, t. Okay, there you go. Hold your imaginary teacup. There, there's some tea for you. <laughs> Okay, so that was a fun way to practice the letter T sound. We also did some blending and we put a P at the end of some of the words in red. For our art project today, we made this 3D, there it is, this 3D teacup. It was just a paper craft and I actually saw it online but it's, we just made our own version of it. We just took paper and made a tablecloth and there's the saucer. And we just used a piece of paper to, to make the teacup and put a little handle on it. So that was our fun little art project for today. And I'll show you again so you'll see how to make it. In fact, if you need me to, I'll hold this really quick for you to see. It's just the teacup is just a rectangle. And then you just fold this two sides and put the glue here and here, and then you can bend it around like that and that becomes the 3D teacup. And you can decorate it before you glue it on if you want. So um, those are some of um, the major ideas that we did today. You can get the whole lesson plan if you want to on my website. I'll put the link below. For story time today, let me show you what we did because it was a pretty fun story. Um, it was called Tea Party Rules and it was by Amy, I guess that's Dykeman. So that was a really cute story about a teddy bear or a real bear who pretended to be a teddy bear. So have some fun today with letter T. That was a cool science experiment and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.